Welcome to this week's webcast for Realty Times. I'm Liam Mockin. And I'm Derry Hayes. And our top story, Trulia.com offers a unique perspective on the housing market. Buyers have conflicting views on how the housing recovery is, let's say, shaking out. <laughs> In the mortgage moment, we're happy to report mortgage interest rates are down for the second week in a row. Columbus and Central Ohio is featured in our city report as a region that's taking off like a rocket. In our advice segments, Wealth for Buyers will explain how debt to income ratios are just as important to lenders as credit scores. And for sellers, there's a warning about short sale scams still making the rounds. Yeah, well, let's get started right now with some real estate news that you can use. Trulia Incorporated, an online real estate portal, just released a unique report about the housing recovery. It says the rising cost of homes cuts both ways for buyers. Yeah, on one hand, fewer buyers believe home ownership is part of their personal American dream. On the other hand, more buyers say owning a home is one of the best long-term investments they can make. This is, well, interesting to say the least. Only 67% of Americans believe home ownership is part of their personal American dream compared to 72% seven months ago, according to Trulia. And on the other, other hand, 60% believe owning a home is a good investment, up from 47%. Those mixed reactions now stem from a housing recovery that has become a win-lose proposition for buyers, Trulia said. Here's the deal. Just as rising home prices and interest rates are pricing some home buyers well out of the market, rising prices are attractive to those who see the home as an investment. Yes, and there's more. It doesn't matter if they're buying for shelter or buying an investment. The housing recovery also has many potential buyers really worried. Among potential buyers, 41% believe rising mortgage rates will price them out of the market. And likewise, 37% of buyers believe higher home prices will price them out of the market. Truly also reported 37% of buyers believe they won't qualify for a mortgage, and that could prevent some buyers from even trying to qualify. Mm, also, 27% of buyers fear competition. They have to compete for a short supply of homes against all cash investors and existing homeowners. Yes, but those worries don't mean buyers are giving up. To the contrary, Trulia said buyers are getting smarter and they're getting more aggressive. Well, to quell their fears about affordability, some buyers are buying smaller homes that give them a better shot at qualifying for their mortgage. Among all buyers, 66% said they would use at least one or more aggressive tactics, including making an offer above the asking price and borrowing money from family and friends to amass a larger down payment. Others are writing personal letters to appeal to a seller's emotions. They're paying closing costs and they are removing all contingencies. But beware, removing all contingencies could get reckless. A good faith deposit amounts to about 3% of the sales price. Without contingencies, buyers put their good faith deposit at risk. That's right. If any part of the deal falls through because the buyer couldn't deliver, say, on the mortgage, the deal, well, could be done and the seller can walk away with your good faith money.